0 to 60, a standing start and acceleration to 60 miles per hour, one of the key measures that help us understand how fast a car is. Over the last century, cars have gotten quicker and quicker, and 0 to 60 times have been shrinking every decade. So where is the limit? Or is there a limit? To figure that out, let's have a look at the most important factors for a quick 0 to 60 time and break it down. Let's start with the basics. In 1687, a brilliant physicist named Sir Isaac Newton came up with what is now called Newton's second law. A equals F over M. So what does that actually mean? Simply said, all the power that propels a car forward has to work against its weight holding it back. The higher that ratio is, the quicker it will be. In theory. As always, it isn't as easy as it sounds in the beginning. So let's start with aerodynamics. Some of you might know that aerodynamical drag rises quadratically with velocity and is the most limiting factor when it comes to achieving high speeds. Yep, high speeds, but we're talking 0 to 60 right now. Aerodynamics, not so relevant. From minor to major, weight. The M in our formula is directly linked to acceleration. A good example are race cars where we can see stripped out interiors and lightweight materials like titanium or carbon fiber being used wherever possible. So you might wonder, why isn't the old light 3 series faster than the modern, albeit heavier, M5? Simple, because he loses the weight advantage when it comes to power output. Or in other words, it's all about the power to weight ratio. The lower the ratio, the better for the 0 to 60 time. But it doesn't matter how much power the engine produces if you can't use all of it. Wait, what? That's right. Nowadays, in performance cars, it usually isn't the power factor that is limiting. Tires and the surface you are running on also play an important role. Spinning tires might look cool, but when accelerating, you want as little tire slip as possible. And the keys for that are good tires and a grippy surface the tires can grab onto. Assistance systems in cars also have come a long way. Launch control is a system that is giving the driver the highest amount of power right from the start. Trying to find the right spot on the power band can be tricky, and launch control is doing exactly that. So what it comes down to is this. Get the most power possible and find a way to bring that onto the road. The lighter the car, the easier it will be.